that's too loud. This, I find, is uh, one of the best ways to relax. On a sunny afternoon, Segovia, sunshine, my friend's beautiful garden, and a, and a cup of tea. It's not bad, is it? I was speaking to <clears throat> an associate of mine this morning about authenticity. It's a really interesting subject. So this is an experiment in authenticity. This is, um, I was out here, I was putting the washing out actually, and I thought, wouldn't it be interesting to sit down and just talk with, uh, with no real kind of, no real agenda there, just thinking or just focusing and being comfortable with my own authentic self. This is me talking to myself in the garden. If any of the neighbours can hear that, they think it's that lunatic over there. They might pop their heads over the wall. Who knows? Who knows what might happen? And that's an aspect of authenticity, the unknown. And that's why we get nervous when we have to be authentic. Just be yourself. Just be yourself. I can't think of anything more terrifying than just be myself. Get up in front of these people. Go stand in front of a room full of people. And just be yourself. Absolutely terrifying. No, I'd rather be someone else. I'd rather have some kind of uh, set of tricks. I'd rather you know, put a coat on, put a mask on. Whatever. I'm kind of wearing a mask myself, aren't I? But it has a full shape, so. A little fly there. Being authentic is fraught with anxiety. Why is that? Fear of exposure, fear of being found out, fear of not being good enough, fear of failure, that old one, fear of not fitting in, not being part of the tribe, not being part of the group, being singled out and isolated. I was thinking earlier on about um, Maslow and his hierarchy of needs. And it's very often quoted. I mean, Maslow's been... One of the things I really like about Maslow, actually, is that his, his research was flawed all over the place. It was it, he had this really sloppy methodology to his research. But his research um, assistant stuck with him because he was such a humanist. He had an authenticity about him. He believed in the work he was doing and he believed that the work he was doing was for the benefit of all people. All people, all life, all things. Benefit is benefit. Anyway, that's a, down there. That's another little side shoot. Let's try and stay on track. That's me being authentic. There you go. Diverse and divergent. Let's see, I've done it again. Um, Maslow, yeah. Um, and Maslow's often in into all kinds of training and uh, sort of, you know, team building and all that kind of thing. Um, but, and right at the pinnacle, so if you don't know Maslow, it's a pyramid structure, right at the bottom of your physiological needs. Once your physiological needs are met, then your safety, so physiological eating, breathing, once those are met, then my physiological needs are obviously well met, then you have safety. You need to be safe, you need to be secure, then you have your social needs, so on, creative needs. And then right at the top, this little tiny little bit at the top, is optimal performance. And um, there's a wonderful guy called uh, Mihai Csikszentmihalyi, who wrote a book called Flow, and he kind of, it's, it's a good follow-up from the work of Maslow. But um, my point was this optimal performance thing. I was thinking about this earlier on, and I was thinking about, I was connecting this with a guy, um, a big hero of mine, Keith Johnston, and he did a TED talk where he said, be average, don't do your best, be average. He teaches improvisation, 
And he has a bit of a beef with this constant, you know, being the best you can be all the time. Because if you're the best you can be all the time, there's no slack in the system. The systems can't integrate properly, they can't mesh properly. You know, if you have a if you have a hi-fi or if you have a performance piece of equipment, there's slack built into it. It's not running full tilt all the time. And I'm kind of relating this back to Maslow and thinking, well, have we got optimal performance confused with maximum performance? Is there something about that little triangle right on top? You know, that's a visual cue for us to think, well, that's the top, that's the very peak. Um, optimal is not the same as maximum. And I think this is one of the struggles that people have with authenticity when they are presenting, when they're talking. They're trying to be the best. They're trying to perform at the absolute max of their capabilities. But what, what is authentic is actually integrating all those different systems. Managing your thoughts, your feelings, your actions, engaging, connecting, being in the space. And you can't do that if one of those systems is kind of, you know, frying itself. All of those systems have to be working nicely in harmony. Like Segovia. Segovia, incidentally, he, I've learned a thing about him today. He was, um, he was just a Spanish kid. He came to, um, he, he came to Andalusia and um, he, <laughs> that's going to go onto an advert now if I'm not careful. And Segovia, he, um, he he was self-taught. I didn't know this. I always thought he was classically trained. And he wasn't. He was self-taught. Um, I'll just get another one up here. There we go. Last five minutes. Oh, summer sin deals. Does anyone want any summer sin deals? A summer sin deals? No, I don't think so. If you're still watching this, well done for keeping with it, by the way. Uh, and uh, yes, I do look a bit like Ricky of Trailer Park Boys. So, yes, yeah, Segovia was self-taught. And um, he came to Andalusia in, uh, as a young kid. Played a bit of Spanish guitar, as most young Spanish kids did, and still do. And he completely revolutionised the form. He was self-taught. And now he's the kind of benchmark for classical Spanish guitar. He's true to himself. Twenty years it took him to to develop this you know, new system, new techniques, all of these things. It took a long, long time. These things do not happen overnight. Authenticity takes practice, it takes a certain amount of courage, and it takes time. And striving to find your authentic self will change you as a person. And you have to keep on rediscovering it, keep on rediscovering it. Anyway, that's me in the garden on a wonderful day. Enjoy.